Fresh apple butter cake probably has to be the 600th, or at least it feels like that, different combination of cake, apple, and or nuts that this cookbook has in it. But since it's in here, we gotta do it, and that's what we're doing today on Grandma's Cookbook. To start with, you're gonna need yourself a bowl and a mixer, uh, one cup of butter, and two cups of sugar, and you're going to beat those together until well combined. Next, you're going to add the eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. Gradually, then, you will throw in a sifted combination of three cups of flour, one and a half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cinnamon, and one eighth teaspoon nutmeg. Once you have all of that mixed together, you will stir in two teaspoons of vanilla. Once that's all well combined, you're going to do your best to fold in three cups of chopped apples and also two cups of chopped walnuts. Now I say to your best effort because as you see here, this really did not seem all that viscous, I'd say. Very thick, almost Play-Doh-like consistency to the dough, but you do your best. Then what you're going to do, pour the batter into a well-greased tube pan. And as you see, and I mentioned before, pouring really isn't the best way to describe what you're doing with this dough, but I guess you can call it dough. It, it, it's, it's batter or dough, I don't know. It, it's splitting hairs, I think, but it really looks more like dough than it does batter. Anyway, once you have all of the batter into the pan, you're going to put it into a 325 preheat oven, and it's going to bake for one and a half hours. Now, somewhere within the last 15 minutes of the baking time, you're going to go ahead and now make the syrup for the cake. And you're going to need one and a half cups of sherry and one and a half cups of sugar. I've never had sherry before except the cooking kind, and that's just extremely salty and alcohol. That's the two flavors of it burning salt. And I gave this stuff a shot and was very confused. I didn't know what it tasted like. The bottle did not really describe what the flavor is supposed to be. It just says cream. It's very weird. Anyway, you're going to stir that together for a while till the, all the sugar dissolves and kind of gets a little thick when you put your spoon into the pot. Next, you're going to Take the cake out of the oven once the hour and a half is up. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And as you'll see in my failure here, try your best to get it out of the cake mold. I was not as fortunate. Anyway, cut yourself a little piece, pour a little bit of the syrup on there, and there you go. Fresh baked butter apple cake thing. How's the taste? Pretty walnutty. You can kind of taste the apple, but not all that well. It's stodgy, I guess you could say. It's all right. I don't know if I'd make it again, but maybe I'm also a little burnt out on cakes involving walnuts and apples. I took this challenge on, and we're going to do everything in here, regardless of how many times you see the same ingredients in here. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.